Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received more than you will ever know. So, Pisces, what I need for you to do right now is I need for you to give me all that fun, loving, exuberant, beautiful energy that you got. You can do that by clicking that like button. You can comment. You can share. You can subscribe. You can just do all those beautiful, magical mother trucking things that you do to me so well here at Tell You Stare. So, I am going to slap down at the holy water. Mm -hmm. So good in the neighborhood, Pisces. So, you know what time it is, baby cakes. Yeah, time to get it. <laughs> Tarot is now in session. The most honorable judge, T.T. Dong, presiding. You can all do whatever the hell you want. <laughs> so, we're going to check in on the energy that person you're dealing with, or whatever energy might be coming towards you, my beautiful loves. Whatever the case is, we're going to get it, we're going to hit it, and then we're going to quit that shit together, baby, and burn one out in the back like we always do. Whew. Jared, I hope you're doing well, by the way. I hope that you got over your sickness. Patrick, I hope you're doing well. Hello, Dan. Hello, Ramona. Lua, hello, how are you? Annette, I hope you're doing well. Show! Okay. Here comes the sun king. Everybody's laughing. Everybody's happy. The star. Ooh. If we get the moon on the table, I'm leaving. Because we already got the star. We got the sun. If we get the moon, I'm leaving. <laughs> didn't get that okay okay Pisces down on the table we've got the Sun card we've got the star card we've got the two of swords the overall energy here is the eight of cups so somebody's walking away from a situation that's not working out here okay and uh, they're going after something more of what they desire here we've got the Sun card Sun card is divine masculine energy it's the happiest deck or the happiest card in the deck of tarot. It's complete illumination. You see everything with the sun. We've got the star down here on the table. Okay, so your person here might be getting baptized, but this is a cleansing energy, a hopeful energy. Because without faith, there is no hope. So your person here is praying and hoping for something. Two of swords, however, down on the table. This person here has, is going within to try to figure out something because there's a situation that they are at an impasse, at a deadlock here. So let's go ahead and find out what these two swords are. So what is the situation that this person here is at a deadlock and at an impasse on, please? What is the situation with the two of swords? What's the situation with the two of swords? So... They honestly, it's what's going on here is this person's like kind of thinking about the cruelty here that's been going on here. There's been agony. There's been pain here. Okay. And so this person here, it's, this is a lot of uncertainty here. They're feeling defeated. They're feeling sorrow here. Oh boy. Okay, so this is just a repeating message here. So they're uncertain. The Two of Swords is being uncertain too. So can we get a little bit deeper here on this uncertainty? What is this person so uncertain about? What is this person so uncertain about here? The Ace of Wands. Maybe igniting a conversation here with you. Okay, I might be like, I don't know. I kind of want to, but I don't know. I'm kind of upset here. I'm kind of hurt. I'm feeling defeated here, and I don't know if I want to even spark up a conversation here. Okay. Okay. So, are they going to? Is this person going to spark up a conversation here with Pisces? Are they going to get out of the Two of Swords and Five of Swords? I could probably say yes. Okay, let's go. Are they going to? Are they going to here? 
And yes. What comes after 10? One. 10 wands, ace wands. So after a period of time here, uncertainty here, this person's going to reach out to you here. Okay. So why do they re want to reach out here and talk to Pisces, please? King of Pentacles. Okay. Your person is the King of Pentacles. Okay. So why does the King of Pentacles want to reach out here and talk to Pisces? Because they want to present you with a new opportunity here. Okay. With the world. Okay. And what's this opportunity here about with the world? Maybe they want to give you a key to their house. What's this new opportunity here with the world, please? What's this new opportunity with the world? Okay. Something here that's been very hard for this person to obtain here, okay? So, there's something here they want to say with the world, okay? This could hurt. So, what do they want to present you with the world? With this Ace of Swords to the world? They're like, Pisces, I'm super confused, okay? I've had to find myself out of a situation. It's been a rough, rough patch for me. I felt like I was in a, in a maze here. What was the situation about that they're finding themselves out of? What's the situation that they're finding themselves out of? Okay, a situation to where they had to take a look in the mirror here. Okay, so this person was drinking here. Okay, so basically here this was not good. Your person here, it seems like they had to stop drinking. Okay, okay, so they're reaching out to you. They are... Had to take a long, hard look at themselves in the mirror here and realize that they were overindulging here in alcohol, okay? So why is the star here then? Show me the star. 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 So this person here is hoping to go in your direction here with the fool card. Let's go one more on the star to the fool, please. Let's go star to the fool. Why, why, why are they hoping for this? Because this person has literally been manifesting this. This person could literally have been doing spell work here, okay? And then praying at night under the stars here. I feel like this person's been praying and hoping for you for quite some time here. But there's something here where they, they had to find themselves out of a heavy drinking situation here first before they could even come towards you. Okay, well, I can appreciate that. At least they're leaving their toxic shit behind. <laughs> okay, what are you doing, Kitty Boom Boom? She's up to something. Okay, so why is the sun card here down on the table? Show me the sun. Why is the sun card down here on the table? Why is the sun here? Okay, so there's something strategic here that they need to do. What is this... Strategy here with the sun to see. Strategy here with the sun to see. They've got to end something here, though. They've got to end something here. Okay. What do they got to end? Okay. They've got another. They've got to end a, another situation here before they can actually offer you love. Okay, there's another situation here that they're strategizing their way out of to find their happiness here with you. And they have to end the situation before they can actually offer you love. Okay, so I don't know what this situation is. Maybe it's fully quit drinking for a long time. I don't know. It very well could be. Okay. We're going to go ahead, pull the final messages, and then I'm going to do one card for each sign. What else would you like to tell Pisces here? Sure. This person has definitely got some clouded judgment right now, for sure. Especially with that drinking here. Seven of Pentacles here. Uh, I feel like this person, you guys have already established something together here, whether it's a friendship or something here. And there's that Ace of Swords coming out. Literally, this person coming towards you. To tell you that they're quitting drinking here. Okay. Oh boy. So let's go ahead and get the kitty boom booms. Otherwise known as meow meow. Pisces dealing with Pisces. How does Pisces feel about Pisces? Sure. Okay Pisces. Well they feel like you're keeping a lot of secrets. Cancer how do you feel about Pisces please? 
Cancer. How do you feel about Pisces? Cancer feels like you are their soulmate. You make them very happy, and they definitely want to progress the situation. Scorp! Scorp, you guys are not talking. Aries! Aries? Sure. Um... Aries is very serious about this connection, and they feel, I feel like Aries wants you to move in. That's what I'm getting. Leo! Leo. Leo's very guarded right now. Um, Sagittarius, how do you feel about Pisces? Sag, sure. You guys are not talking. <laughs> Libra? Sure, Libra. Okay, Libra. Libra feels like you're a player. Uh, Gemini. Gemini thinks you're beautiful. There's the emperor and there's the empress. That's weird. Okay. Um, Aquarius. Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. They're going to reach out and send you a message here. And it's going to shock you. Virgo. Virgo. You guys. Virgo's feeling rejected by you. Taurus. Taurus. Sure, Taurus. Taurus feels like this is over with. Cappy. Cappy. Cappy, 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 Cappy. They feel like you're cold and that you're going to end this. And it's making this person feel left out in the cold. And they feel like you've just been basically they, all you care about is your work. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for joining me on another episode of As the Fish Swims. These are the tales of your fins. Tarot's adjourned.